Hello everyone, today I will be talking about the free radical reaction on alkanes. And let's talk briefly about this type of reaction. So free radical reactions on alkanes can be done using chlorine or bromine. It's the two types of the halogens that we have. But we cannot use the fluorine or iodine. Why? The fluorine reaction will be very, very, very exothermic reaction. And that will create too much heat, which makes this reaction is very dangerous to use in the lab. However, if we use iodine, the action will be very endothermic reaction. And in this case, the action will favor the reactant side and will favor the alkane plus I2 side. So I will not have any of the products. So that's why we choose to work with chlorine and bromine only. So if we are using the bromine, in this case, the action will be regi selective. What does that mean? The bromine will substitute the hydrogen most, I mean, will substitute the most stable hydrogens on that alkane. And in this case, the action will favor the tertiary hydrogen over the second, and will favor the secondary hydrogens over the primary. But if we use that chlorine, now the action will happen in any of the hydrogens. So the chlorine will substitute any of the hydrogens on that alkane. So let's read that questions and apply this on this example. So how many different monochlorinated compounds, including the stereoisomers? I will go over this in a second. Would be produced by the free radical chlorination of n pentane. So let's discuss what's a stereoisomer. Stereoisomers are different compounds that they have the same molecular formula and the same connectivity but they have a different orientation of their atoms in the space. Same connectivity, same molecular formula, but different arrangement in the space. All right, so I would like to start with drawing my alkane. So what's the pentane? It's five carbon chain, right? That's an easy one. So this is my alkane. So, in this example, I would like to put all the hydrogen in this compound. So, I have three hydrogens here. I have two hydrogens here. I have another two hydrogens. Two more. And I have three hydrogens in this side. Alright, so let's say I added the Cl2 on this. Actually, will be no reaction. Why? Because I do need energy to move on this reaction. The alkane is very stable in this case. The Cl2 is very stable. So no reaction will happen unless if I put this reaction in the free radical condition. And what is this? This can be heat or light, a UV light. This energy will vibrate the atoms of the chlorine and it will break the bonds between them to create two free radicals. And the reaction will go from there. All right, so as we said earlier, the chlorine will substitute any of the hydrogens here. But let's say if we substituted one of these hydrogens and in another product I substituted one of these hydrogens that product will be the same, right? Because it's the same carbon. And if I change one of the hydrogen on this side, or one of the hydrogen from this side, it will be the same product as well. How come? Because this compound has a symmetry. So if we cut this compound into half, we will see that this side is very similar to this side. So if we number them as one, two, three, four, and five. I'm trying to number the carbons to see which carbon are different in, in a different environment, or the hydrogens there are different. So in carbon one and carbon five, if I flip that compound, it will be the same, right? So if I added the chlorine here, or a number five will be the same product. So this will be number one. Same idea. If I added the chlorine 
and instead of one of the hydrogens on carbon number two or carbon number four and if you look at it if you flip this compound it will be the same if I add it here or I add it here it will be the same right so this is my second product however if I add it in carbon three this is one by itself it's a unique product so let's draw these three products that I, I suggest so this is number one and we said I will be adding the chlorine in here as we agreed if I add it here and instead of here it will be the same right it's a terminal chlorine and the second one will be adding the chlorine in carbon number two or carbon number four so if I add it here or here it will be the same and the third one will be adding the chlorine in carbon number three and as we see we have three products so far but remember we discussed the stereoisomers and the stereoisomer we said is, is what is same it's a different compound with the same connectivity same molecular formula but a different orientation of the atoms in the space so I have to look for a chiral centers a chiral centers in this is what what's chiral center a chiral center is a carbon that has a four different groups so the four groups around that carbon has to be different to be chiral so this is the trick so if I will look at this carbon how many uh, groups around let's draw all the hydrogens so we can consider how many groups now so I do have a hydrogen and a hydrogen here so the groups around this carbon are hydrogen hydrogen chlorine and four carbon chain which is butyl so in this case it's not for different groups because I have two hydrogens so I don't have chiral center actually this is a chiral center so there is no sterilized so this is a chiral what about the second one let's add my hydrogens on this carbon so let's see if I have four groups I mean four different groups or not if I have four different groups it will be chiral and in this case I will have R and S it has a stereoisomers if it's chiral so it has stereoisomers so in this case if I have here I have a methyl I have propyl I have hydrogen and I have chlorine yes it's four different groups so this carbon is chiral so in this case if this carbon is chiral I will have stereoisomer which is S and R well so it's a two different compound yes that's what we said about the stereoisomers so what about the third one let's add my hydrogens so here is the carbon let's look if this is chiral or a chiral test yourself how many groups are around it it has to be four around the, the carbon so is it different or two of them are similar I have ethyl I have ethyl I have hydrogen and I have chlorine so two of the groups are similar two ethyl groups so in this case this one it's a chiral same as the first product that we get so in this case if I will redraw this one I can do it in a two different ways let me take this one away I don't have enough space so in this case we said the stereoisomer are different in the arrangement in space or orientation of the atoms in space so if I draw this one I can draw it in a two different ways this chlorine can be which and the hydrogen can be dashed or I can do it as dashed chlorine and a which hydrogen and in this case one of them will be R and the other one will be S so how many products that was the question how many different compounds will be produced so I will have one two three and four 
so